Hello everyone, God bless you. I pray that you are doing well today or whenever you see this video. I would like to thank all of the new subscribers to this channel. I really appreciate it. And all the new viewers, thank you so much for just checking out my videos and for supporting my channel. So thank you and all glory to God. Um, so as you know, this channel, the Lord has me in this area of end time prophecy and um, it's basically to warn people about what's to come and to let people know that these events these future events are going to happen okay there are no ifs ands or buts about it okay the antichrist uh lucifer satan wanted to exalt himself above the lord he wanted to be praised and worship like the most high god so um that wasn't going to happen <laughs> in the lord's kingdom so he was casted out um and he came here and that is what he's going to do he's going to usurp authority and worship um from god's creation which are us okay if you end up under the authority of the antichrist but this is never a good way to put this but you you will be um you will be set for destruction hey everybody so yeah i had to um relocate <laughs> i'm kind of busy uh well not kind of i'm very busy right now the entire family has caught the sick bug okay so including my husband so it's five against one <laughs> and uh including my dog is six against one okay <laughs> so it's been a lot these past couple of days so please y'all pray for me um thank you in advance okay so so yeah as i was saying before the antichrist y'all he's going to reign on the earth please read revelation okay read specifically for this dream also read revelation 12 i believe in revelation 7 okay um because in 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 these chapters it's going to talk about god stealing his people okay so this is these events or these catastrophic events are not going to affect god's people okay so you do not have to be afraid you do not have to worry okay if you've uh, been sealed <clears throat> um if if you know you are in the will of the lord he's going to protect you no doubt okay the the lord has plans for us okay so yes great plans okay so i'm gonna start off <clears throat> reading the dream the dream started off with me around my relatives and I believe my oldest son was there. Uh, I had this a while back, so I can't really say, but I want to say he was. It was um, business as usual. You know, we were sitting around laughing, talking about things, um, how you normally do at family gatherings. And then suddenly, this spaceship landed. Suddenly, something shifted in the atmosphere. Okay, so you know how we were talking and laughing it went from that to like this state of of panic okay like the whole atmosphere had completely shifted to being fearful okay um so it was like peace had been completely taken away from the earth in one instant and everyone became in a state of panic then there was a man who came off of the spaceship okay um and he had on a hazmat suit you know like those suits they would wear to keep themselves from being contaminated um from people who are sick or from you know any um toxic substances or anything like that so he had that um hazmat suit on and he began to you know look around and and scan the area so I had no idea what was about to happen, but I knew it wasn't good. So I just started to pray. Okay. I started praying. I believe I touched my son and I started praying for him. And I, I, I ended up getting to pray. I, I started praying for someone else. I don't remember who it was, but it was somebody who was younger. 
okay i don't remember who it was but after um i finished praying for them the man who had on that full body hazmat suit on um he he came to me and he looked me right in my eyes and he pointed to me and this is what he said he said you are blessed keep following your heart and i was just looking like what you know so yeah immediately after that the dream had flashed to a different scene so in this part of the dream i was looking at myself so it was more like a vision because i see my husband me our four children and we were laying we were outside laying on this big nice quilt okay and it was so pretty like today it was it was pretty it was sunny um just really nice weather and it was some people it was i remember seeing um these these people they were cutting down trees they were cutting down um trees and moving them like they were building something like they were you know building something nice i don't know but they were moving it so they could build something and we were just laying there and um as as so remember i was i was looking at it so it was more like a vision so it started up close it started up close like you know I could see everything up close and then it started the scope started going further and further back and as the scope started to go back I was thinking in my mind I was thinking okay something's bad going it's going to happen because in the the scene before the um spaceship had landed and it was just fear it was it was just completely fear and panic okay so I'm thinking okay something's about to happen something's bad is about to happen I just know it but as the dream was going back, I'm sorry, as 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 the scope of the dream was getting further and further away, nothing bad happened. Nothing bad happened. It was complete peace. And as I was finishing the dream, um, it just came in my spirit where we were. It was complete peace and nothing could take it away. Okay. So the revelation from this dream you guys is that there are going to be some alien creatures alien species that lands here on planet earth now some of you may say you know there are already here i do not doubt that okay but it's not time for them to come out. It's not time for them to expose themselves. So that's why they are in hiding. But when the Antichrist system comes into place, okay, when this wicked, wicked system is 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 put in is established in the earth, these creatures will come out, okay, and they will they will usurp authority over human beings, okay. And the man, I know the man had the hazmat suit on because um, he didn't want to be contaminated or, you know, affected in any way by this alien species. Okay. We're dealing with spiritual wickedness in high places, you guys. Spiritual wickedness in high places these people know what's going to happen these people know what's going to go down when it goes down okay they've had contact with alien creatures there is spiritual wickedness in high places fallen angels reptilians all of that y'all this stuff is real oh yeah it's it's definitely real and and they they live right there playing in your face to show you hey this is what's going on I, what did i see the other day me and my husband saw something it's it's uh it's on netflix we don't have netflix anymore i, I will not pay them because they they just the stuff the content that they put out is completely just godless okay it's a cartoon they love to put truth like in especially in cartoons because it, it you're not supposed to take it as serious 
So that's why they 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 like they fill these uh cartoon shows up with um with with truth and in, in plain sight. They really do. I don't know if you've seen that, but they have that show on their rep. I don't. I forgot the name of it, but <laughs> it was it's pre preconditioning or pre programming people to um to 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 be acceptive to be acceptive and to embrace uh these reptilian creatures these alien reptilian looking creatures god didn't make them the devil has a seat too please read genesis lord talks about um the seed of the woman and the devil seed like the 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 devil has a people too so these creatures are going to come to earth they're going to usurp authority and you're going to have to embrace this agenda of accepting them of 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 being a part of the system with them okay just totally wickedness totally wickedness okay um and the the man who came up to me he 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 told me that I was blessed because the revelation is God's people when these when these things happen God's people are going to make it into the wilderness okay please read revelation 12 okay please read revelation 7 about the Lord selling his people because um when these things happen the Lord's people will not be a part of the system um we we will be in a safe place we will be in a safe heaven away from the antichrist system me my family and and other people who are going to make it into the wilderness are blessed because they don't have to deal with this evil wicked system so i'm telling y'all y'all need to get on the lord's side you need to choose ye this day whom you will serve these things are going to happen so yeah we made it into the wilderness and guess what god's people will make it into the wilderness isn't that something? And 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 when we were there, it was so peaceful, mind you. When I was, as the dream was going back, as I'm sorry, as the scope was going back, and I was getting further and further away, I just thought something was just gonna come in and just, 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 just destroy and smite everything. But it it never happened because when you are in the Lord's will, He will keep you in perfect, perfect peace. And while we were there, it was good, like we were we were relaxing we were enjoying ourselves it was just so much peace and these men were building things like we're gonna have our own civilization like we're gonna have our own place to be and to thrive like and that's just such a blessing that is, that is truly a blessing especially with all the wickedness that's going to be happening you know um, if you invest into this world, I'm just here to tell you, if you continue to invest in this world, you're going to see that the end of it is going to lead to your destruction. Um, you're going to be forced. You're going to be controlled. Everything in this antichrist system is controlled. Okay. Completely not like God. The Lord gives us free will, right? This, this antichrist system is not either, either. Either you accept it, accept the the godless culture, you accept the um the new world system, okay? You accept the antichrist, you worship the antichrist, you take the mark of the beast. Either you do those things, or you suffer badly to death or nearly to death, okay? So. I'm just a warning sign letting you know that this is what is going to happen later on down the road. That's all I'm doing. Okay, and it's not the Lord's will that any man shall perish, but they all come into the repentance of Jesus Christ. And that is the only one who can save you. That is the only one who can save you from this, this antichrist mark of the beast system. You know? really pray and hope that we all make it into the wilderness together please you know 
um, reevaluate, reevaluate, re reevaluate um, your life, and and re be real and honest with yourself, and see if you are in the will of the Lord today. Because if you are not in the will of the Lord today, and you're not in the will of the Lord when this happens. When, when when it's time for the wheat to be separated from the tares, when that division comes and when the Lord seals his people, you're going to miss the mark. There's no better time than now for salvation. Please do not wait. I mean, I implore you, do not wait. You never know when you're going to take your last breath. Regardless, you know. It's time to sober up. It's time. It's time to get right with the Lord and to repent, to stop playing church. If that's what you're doing, I can testify because I come from a religious background. I come from um, Baptist denomination, you know, and I all I can tell you was that it's just pure religion. The Bible says present your body your body, your B-O-D-Y, a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. That is your reasonable service to him. And that's it. Your self-righteousness cannot save you. Your tithing cannot save you. Your church attendance cannot save you. None of that. Your relationship if you have the Holy Spirit, if you've been filled with the Holy Spirit, if you know who Jesus Christ is, if you know who the Lord is, that is the only way you're going to be saved. Because it's Him. We It's a gift to have salvation, lest any man shall boast. It's a gift from God. So it's time to get right. He's giving you the free gift so you can accept it and allow Him to make you a new creature. So you can be establishing the will of the most high God. Oh, it's such a blessing. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. It is such a blessing, y'all. If you're just being religious, you're missing out. If you don't know who the Lord is, you're missing out. He's waiting on you. So you all, this, this was a dream. These creatures are coming, um, and they do not respect the Lord. They do not love the Lord. So please do not think they're going to respect you. Please don't think it's, it's going to be just a happy, just a glorious time. No. Mm -mm. Anything that does not have the Lord in it, it's, it's not going to be joyful. It's not going to be peaceful. It's not going to be loving. It's not going to be kind. All the good things that we have is right here right now is because of the lord but once in this but but once this lawless antichrist system comes into place um that's why they call it a new world it's gonna be like nothing we've ever seen before a system that is in power that has no true love for people for god's creation for god um that that in 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 has the the bible says who can make the people will say who can make war who can make war with the beast because it will be no nobody or nothing to come against it and it's going to be completely evil i i i will encourage you to pick a side and to just seek the Lord. Just seek him. Humbly seek him. Just see what it's really about. The Bible says, a broken and contrite heart the Lord would not despise. All right. So I love y'all. Um, and as always, please pray about this. All right. And until next time, stay blessed.